back to another video guys after kind of a two weeks hiatus we're back with a new video had some personal stuff going on how to fly out the country and uh but we're back we're back with our regular weekly youtube programming so in this video i want to talk about the five 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 dollar foot long the five mods that you need on your bike uh Preferably your Harley Davidson or Indian, whatever it is. But we're gonna go uh, down the list. These are my top five picks. So if you guys have any different ones, make sure to drop your thoughts and comments down below. I wanna see what your top five picks are down there. Well, that was top five. We'll start with number one. Obviously, to me, the most important one, an exhaust. I feel like for any Harley Davidson, especially these newer models where you know you have your ad mates that are very 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 quiet i think an exhaust is the perfect way to go if you do not want to go with a full exhaust obviously they got slip-ons uh to go that route but obviously the exhaust is going to give you a uh better note that classic harley davidson sound that you're looking for because the stock sound it's not it um obviously looks and third performance so you're gonna get all that out of that one modification right there now on my 2020 lowrider s i'm running the uh tbr 201 on the 2021 road glide i'm running the chromeworks uh and on the sporty in the back we're running the vance and hines short shot so different exhausts different sounds different notes on each and every bike pretty cool you know that might be a video might be a nice little video sound comparison those three who knows next all right, number two, I cannot stress this enough. Harley Davidson grips, as we know, they kind of suck and yeah, they they're, they kind of suck. So yeah, grips to me is like a big, big thing. On um, the Road Glide, I got the heated grips. Those things are amazing. They are by Harley Davidson from the new Empire Collection. Heated grips, I cannot say, guys, I definitely recommend the heated grips. Go for it, it I, I, I love it. It's probably one of my favorite things on that bike now. On the Low Rider S, I got the Arlen S grips. Those things feel great as well. I have no complaints about them. They feel really good. Mod number three, after changing out that exhaust system, your bike is gonna wanna breathe heavier. It's gonna wanna take more air in. So an air cleaner is superb to go with that. Especially if you wanna do a stage one, which I have on both bikes here. The Sport in the back does not have a full stage one yet. I still need a tuner for that but definitely fun to do a stage one. But a heavy air cleaner is gonna give you a lot more air, a lot more performance, and obviously a whole new different look from the stock air cleaners that these bikes come with. Modification number four, probably another important one. These are all pretty important, but seats. Seats, I cannot stress this so much, man. Once again, we are pretty well aware that these stock seats are not the best, they're not the most comfortable. And if you're out there and you wanna hit those long, long miles, you need to have a comfortable seat to sit on that bike. Whether it being on a bagger, whether it being on a soft tail or dyno, you want to have that comfortable seat. On my low rider, I'm rocking out with my Lepera kickflip. I absolutely love that thing. I prefer it way, way, way over the uh, Saddleman step up that I had before. Saddleman was a bit more stiff. Um, if you wanna see the, the review and my thoughts on that, I have different videos so scroll down you can check that out but i love that thing on the road glide i have the lucky dave's step up seat right there that thing is really really comfortable um amazing the sporty still has the stock seat um we're gonna keep the stock seat on for now until we pick out a different seat for that so uh still thinking now number five 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 risers i absolutely one of my favorite modification on both these bikes right here on the low rider i'm rocking out with the eight inch san jose pullback risers those things are amazing on the road glide, we got the brand new Arlen S method pullback risers with the gauge relocation on top. Amazing. Um, risers and bar setup just change the whole dynamics of your riding style. If you're looking for that more aggressive look, if you're looking for that more of a um, club style look, if you want to go on this bike right here, you're definitely going to have that. But it, it changes everything, the whole dynamics. You're really able to get in those corners a bit more. Um, you feel more aggressive and more of a comfortable position, obviously, from the stock bars and ride height that you're going to get um, at a factory. Now, those are my top five right there. I did miss a few other ones that I are also my favorite. I feel like everything, every mod I do on these mod bikes are, I love them and are my favorite. But um, yeah, if you're looking for a club style, if you have a low rider as a soft tail or any dinas, you want to go for that club style look. A fairing is always going to help out with wind, 
is gonna look great and it's gonna give you that club style look that you're looking for as well. On the Rogue Glider as well, you're also gonna have that nice little windshield in the front as well to deflect the wind and more of a custom look as well. Now there's rotors, there's foot packs, there's shift linkage, there's paint jobs, there's little things here and there, bolts and this and that. A million things you can do to these bikes. That's the reason why we love these bikes so much because these Harley Davidsons are so customizable. So drop your thoughts down below. I want to know your top five down below, your favorite mods you have done so far to your bike. And also let me know what kind of bike you're riding. Um, that's gonna be it guys. Super happy to be back. Also, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I feel like YouTube lately has not been pushing my videos. Last few videos that I posted have not gotten that exposure they usually get, and I feel that they're just not being pushed enough. So do me a favor, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the video with your friends. Um, that little bell is gonna be so important, guys. I cannot stress this enough, and I know you guys hear this a lot from a lot of YouTubers. Yeah, yeah, go subscribe and hit that bell button, but without you doing that, there's no way you're gonna get the notification because YouTube is not notifying people when we upload videos so go ahead do my favorite and do that i'm gonna catch you in the next one like always let the force be with you ride safe and enjoy the ride baby peace